watching this uh, last podcast and the Sunday Tune episode finale that I just finished. Um, watching. Um, yeah, I'm going. I'm sorry, I'm a bit moved about the last episode. I was not expecting this. But I guess uh, it was the kind of finale that we were waiting for in order to have season three that I'm really, really excited to look. So for me, this season two was uh, was absolute bliss. It was very good uh, because we didn't, as I said before, we didn't feel the Sydney absence that well, even if there was a kind of mm, discrepancy between what is happening, the fact that the character died and also the fact that how the the, the, the family reacted knowing the the connection that they have between each other uh, even if we can definitely see that Charlotte is moved by uh, this um, this um, event uh, but at the end towards the last episode especially I'm going to talk about it we can see really like how they're uh, impact emotionally but I didn't see it at the first episode that's so why I was like mm, they decided to make Sydney dies I was like hmm that's strange but nothing to say about this. It was beautifully written, but the person um, did uh, a great job. Um, and as a viewer, yes, I'm excited for season three and I was really glad for season two. So on this final episode, we're basically talking about Sydney and we're discovering what he has been doing in Antigua because he died there, um, living... Um, Sanditon to his wife uh, that he married in order to save Sanditon so it's a bit complicated um, but yeah we're discovering um, and this implies Islam so a spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the last episode please do not listening to do not listen to this podcast um, and we're seeing that Miss Lamb, yeah, she's a quite, uh, she's also a bit moved about what is happening um, because Sydney has been looking for um, basically um, ways to protect her and her fortune and also members of her family. So there is a new journey for Miss Lamb where she has to basically found, um, find out that her mother is not hasn't died before and that she's going to look for him and as I was right um, her artist uh, Sir Lockwood uh, is not the person that she thought was and he's just come after her fortune but I sense that you know from the last podcast I told you I don't know what to think about this kind of union because I didn't feel the character anyway and uh, that made me think about the position of Miss Lamb and how difficult it might be uh, for women uh, with this fortune to marry without somebody taking advantage of her. And I really liked in the last episode the fact that she had a kind of sequence with um, uh, with Tom's um, brother, Arthur, and she basically said it would be a great deal if we get married together. And I thought about this. I was thinking that the righteous, because they care deeply for one another and I think they made a great couple, I thought about that, so I feel like the fact that the writers just uh, decided, you know, to, to put this in March. But um, yes, uh, so we have basically um, Miss Lamb, who is a kind of, I, I wouldn't say she's heartbroken because, I mean, she doesn't, the character doesn't show it because she's quite, uh, you know, strong and she has a strong personality and she has also the whole support of the Parker family um, who considers her as uh, their own, you know, uh, like Charlotte. So uh, for me, it was one point I was like, yes, I knew it. Um, second, everything that happened with Lady Dunham, niece, um, Esther and um, Edward and all the, their plan to basically uh, hurt Esther and to plan on having the fortune um, well, I thought that it was going to be uh, very difficult for us to come back, but uh, thanks to uh, Clara, she managed basically to uh, get, uh, like, without any consequences from what Edward just uh, made him. And I thought that I really liked this scene where Clara, again, spoiler alert, don't watch, don't listen if you haven't watched it, uh, Clara decided to leave her baby for Esther. And um, I think what she said was you know makes sense and I think more and more women right now uh, understand that there are definitely people who are meant to be mothers and others don't they don't have this kind of marginal 
uh, you know, appealing, I would say, appeal to have a child. That doesn't mean that they will not have. But uh, I think before it was a kind of, uh, you know, you, you should you, you could get cancelled by saying that, uh, even if everybody knows that this is true. And I think that it was a beautifully and made the fact that Asta will be able to bring up the child. And I think nobody, nobody uh, really thought about Lord Barberton leaving her whatever Lady Dunham is saying because we know when we have seen season one and how basically he courted her um, and he basically pursued her so hard so it was like uh, it was hard for me to feel that Lord Babbitton would just leave her without you know saying anything um th this is <laughs> yeah because I remember like the first from the first season, I said that what was really nice with Ascenditon from the season one is that we don't have, we didn't have an happy ending for the character. Uh, this time, it's it, was, it moved me emotionally because I was like, oh, it's the second unhappy ending. So I think that it was necessary for the series to continue, even if I think it would be possible if Charlotte and Mr. Colburn got, got together. But I was like... I felt, you know, the difficulties of the character and how, and I'm going to talk about this in a second, the decision that she made at the end, but I was like, again, it's a lot. It's a lot, uh, but I would just say this in the beginning, her sister, um, you know, she got this happy ending, so I think at the end we have a, a kind note of happy ending of a, 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 of a wedding, but about Charlotte, um, yes, um, she's saying herself at the end, she's saying enough because twice is just a lot. And I think even if ice viewers were like, <gasps> you feel in in your heart, you're just like, oh my God, like another time she's opening up, another time the man is not strong enough, you know, to, to propose to her. Uh, and there's always something, you know, going in between them. Um... But at the end, we can see that Charlotte she made a decision to marrying somebody that uh, a character that we don't know, um, and that reflects, I think, really, and I really like this also is, uh, you know, this ability from the writers and everybody, a lot of people who are doing Regency drama to link ba basically all the spirits of Regency drama with our current life and the psychology of human nature, uh, and I think that's why we feel for this Regency drama because we feel this character, even if it was another, another time with a different kind of society, even if I think we have similarities, we share similarities. Um, I was like, oh my god, um, she represent really those inevitable people uh, emotionally that we sometimes encounter and they're pulling up I think the millennial and beginning of Gen Z generation which is not our fault because I included myself in both of the generation but I would just say like oh, I was like oh yeah she really and you know out of the fact that your heart is break uh, you you made sometimes decision in order not to get her, and I think that ugh, everybody so through that. I I think everybody made the same had the same mind as me. When um the same explanation, it was like she 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 she's trying to protect herself. I know it's not the right way to do it, but at the same time, it made me really understand more about those person who went through. Uh, even myself, you know, went through heartbreaking and how you can be very, very broken after and you can make that stupid decision and uh, how you hurt people because we know that people who are hurt end up hurting other people. That's why you, of course, at the time you didn't have, but it's good to go to therapy to talk about that and to try to release in order not to hurt other people. But she, she made this decision and I think that, as I said, I don't know if it was the right jump to season three but of course it keep up going um and we are just wondering you know how will be season three uh i will i will i will just say i hope that uh we can see also at the end that mr colburn decide to take two months in order like some month away um before returning to senditon so we're just basically waiting that he because he's the one who did the, the the wrong move you know by shutting down uh and hurting her because it's always the same thing that is happening even you know in our current life there's always somebody who is 
shutting down and hurting the other person emotionally, that doesn't mean that the person doesn't have feelings, it's just that they are unable to express them bef the, um, because they have been broken before. I just hope that, not like in real life where timing is everything, I just hope that he will return to Zanderton, that they will manage to sort out. Uh, I think the difficulties and the main point of season 3 will be for Charlotte to open up again, knowing that twice she has been disappointed emotionally and her heart has been broken. Um, I think for Miss Lamb, we're going maybe to have um, sequence her in Antigua, reconnecting with her mom, and I hope that there will be a new love story for her growing up, and maybe we will see other things. I will help, be glad to see also like Alison and... Uh, Colin Fraser stories like love story fall, falling up uh, even if at the time like I thought that the writer they decided to uh, basically uh, they've decided to, to uh, do the same thing that they did with Charlotte uh, but it was not actually the case uh, it was a happy ending so I'm glad to see it and of course I hope we will keep following all the characters that have been followed uh, Aster, Lady Dunham, even if not my favorite character and uh, yes I was I was quite moved by this season but again it was a great job um, I hope you guys like it please comment down below um, what do you think about this season do you think it was very interesting did you like it did you miss Sydney uh, <laughs> because it was very a strong character what are you waiting for season three I will be glad to hear it and I will um, post another video on another show, completely different from Sanditon, uh, on this channel. Um, if you like the podcast, please uh, subscribe and put a thumbs up. That will help definitely my channel to uh, to grow and um, and for me to keep continue doing um, uh, this type of content. Thank you. Bye.